What's up, Sickle Cell Warriors? It's Mercedes, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome, welcome. All right, you all, so this is part two of how to live well with sickle cell. In the first video, I gave you six tips on how to just get your body to feeling good. And that is still a very good video to reference. So if you haven't seen it, check the link in my description box and it's going to help you. Now we had to come back with a part two because quite a few of you all asked me about the smoothie recipe at the latter part of that video. And since then I've been creating and experimenting and I have a brand new smoothie recipe that is really delicious, that is creamy in nature and it's going to really help you enrich your red blood cells. So let's go ahead and get to the ingredients. So what you'll need for this smoothie would be berries of your choice. They could even be mango if you want, whatever you think will taste best with the beet that goes in it. We have beet powder. We have some coconut water. I have some maca and spirulina powder. Okay. We have some dates to sweeten it. And we have some camu powder. So as we make our smoothie, I'm going to tell you why each and every one of these ingredients will really help you when it comes to sickle cell anemia. We're going to start off by adding two cups of berries and the recipe is also going to be linked in the description box. Now, if we look at the back, it shows us the vitamins and minerals that are in the berries. We're getting iron, potassium, vitamin A and vitamin C. And I love this because iron and vitamin C naturally go together. You also have potassium, which really helps the heart and you have calcium. And we know in the sickle cell community, hip replacements are real and we want to make sure that we're fortifying our bones. So you definitely want to make sure that you're getting your calcium in. All right. So we have our two cups of berries. Now we're going to go ahead and add a half a cup of coconut water. And the reason I love coconut water, you all hear me talk about it all the time, is because it has electrolytes and it rehydrates you. So instead of adding milk to my smoothies, I now do water. And if I have coconut water in the house, I make sure I go for the coconut water. So this also has calcium in it. It has potassium, it has phosphorus, and it has magnesium. And magnesium, is something that we should all intentionally work on getting in our diet because um, most Americans lack magnesium and magnesium helps with every function in the body. It's really good for helping with hormones. So let's go ahead and add half a cup. I might add a little more than half a cup, but I'm trying not to make it too liquidy. <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and add our beet powder. And if you notice on the bag, it says that it's good for the blood, the heart and liver. All right. And as you know, we have to be very mindful when caring for our liver because our blood filters quicker. Um, sickle cells, they last about 15 days versus normal red blood cells that last 90 days. So your body is having to work harder and that's where your jaundice comes from with the liver having to work harder. So you wanna make sure you're fortifying your liver. So let's go ahead and add two teaspoons of beet powder. Okay. Two level teaspoons of beet powder. All right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the maca and spirulina. And I really love maca powder because it helps with the hormones. And I love spirulina because it's super good for the red blood cells. Now this has iron in it and potassium. Okay. So we're going to add a half a teaspoon. Okay. Now we're going to add some camu powder and this is just the extra added boost of vitamin C. We have plenty of vitamin C 
but camu powder has a lot more than most fruits so here i'm getting 682 milligrams of vitamin c and with the berries for one cup i'm getting 40 milligrams of vitamin c so you don't have to use the camu powder if you don't want to um, i like it because of that extra added boost but you can naturally get the vitamin C in the berries alone. So we're gonna add one teaspoon. And to sweeten our smoothie, we have to add some dates, okay? Now let's see, what goodness do we have in dates? We have potassium and we have iron. So as you can see, this smoothie is a powerhouse. It has so many vitamins and minerals and your body is really gonna get the nutrition that it needs for you to thrive. Now these are pitted baits. <laughs> Some baits are not pitted, but we wanna make sure that we get the pit out so we don't have that in the smoothie. So we're gonna drop that in. And this one has a blood on it. So we're gonna take the blood off, okay. And now it is pit free. Okay. So now we're going to blend it on two minutes and 30 seconds on six. Our smoothie is ready and it smells really good. Okay. I love the consistency. Oh! <laughs> okay. I'll put some in here. Okay. And doesn't that look delicious, Warriors? It's like having sorbet. Okay. Now that's for my mom. I had a smoothie already, but I will try this bit on camera. I love making healthy smoothies and just knowing that it's helping my body in every single way. All right, Sickle Cell Warriors, thank you so much for joining me on this very special episode. Anytime we get together to talk about sickle cell, you know it's a really good time because we're nourishing ourselves, all right? Make sure that you get your sickle cell care journal. It's a really good resource. Yes, I had honey holding it up. <laughs> it's a really good resource to just keep you accountable, okay? So this is what it looks like on the inside. It's really nice, you all. If you do it consistently, it's going to help you. You're going to start to think about sickle cell in a new way. And if you love the Live Well with Sickle Cell t-shirt, make sure you grab one of those. You can find them both in the link in my description box. I love you. Until next time, peace out.